In one of my previous videos, I used two skyhooks to repel from a flat roof using this concrete edge. This time, I will be using them indoors. I still don't advise using them like that. Now on the roof with the edge it was super sketchy. Here indoor, often you have more options, especially if you go inside a room and over some edges, because then you have less tension on the hooks. And here on this edge, they stay in place super securely. And what I can do with this aramid cord, I can place one hook here, the other hook here. And then with this, I have two edges and two points. Of course, with this still not redundant, if one fails, both will fail. But with this, they share the load. Then I attached an elastic prusik with some thick shock cord and one more sky hook. I can hook this here, tighten it. And this now keeps tension on these load sharing sky hooks, so even if the rope moves, they don't fall down. Otherwise, without this, you will just need some movement and it will fall down. Maybe it can be retreatable, but this is not to retreat this rope, it's just to make a quick anchor without slinging a rope somewhere. But still, still sketchy, not safe stuff. So don't try this at home. These sky hooks are available in completely different shapes and sizes. You can see the prosing one is a small one from Petzl. This one is from uh, Black Diamond and this one is from Cam. They all have their downsides and advantages. For example, this is a good example. Here you can see this super big Black Diamond one really hooks in around this thing. But the Cam one is strangely placed on the edge. You can see this, this one really grabs around. This one is only a little bit, so this feels more safe. If you now take a small one, it just grabs on this thing, not around it. So, yeah, it always depends. It's not easy to, to find a universal one. For example, if you look at a 90 degree angle for the flat surface, these ones by Black Diamond are not as nice. They slide a bit and then they open up. But then the camp one, which was not as good in the previous placement, here and now feels a lot more safe. I should have used these hooks when repelling on the flat roof. Yeah. It's more pointy, it cuts into the concrete. And the small one is super close on the edge. So if you have some uh, plates or some layers on top of the concrete. This is closer to the edge, so maybe all whole the edge will break off. So I don't feel like this is super safe, but they are super pointy, so they stick quite well. But this just grabs like more material, bigger ones. So yeah, it's not easy to find universal size. I mainly use the big ones, and again, this is just emergency stuff, so don't do this at home. Thanks. Okay, now on the window. Good thing is with the elastic brusik, I can yeah, have this loose and the hooks don't fall on the ground. I insert this in my spark. Noise. Edge protection. Then we have the backup. That's a hazard from the industrial world. Attach this up here. And now I can Step over. And go uh, yeah, carefully into the system. Now the danger is if something snaps, the full weight will pull it until the other blocks. So the hooks will fly around as some danger. But now with this, I can repel down. Oh. So elegant. Mm -hmm. 
Now we removed the elastic brosic to yeah remove the tension from the both sky hooks, and then I tried to shake on the rope and throw some rope up and try to shake it somehow to see if they get loose and if you can retreat the whole system. Yeah, you can see they stick quite well, surprisingly well, because there is always some weight of the rope on those hooks. I can cause one hook to slide a bit, but the closer hook is really locked into the hole it's sitting in. And even if they would slide out of the wall, it's possible that they get stuck again on a heater or something else. So yeah, I would consider this not retreatable. <laughs> 